Knock, knock. Who's there? Who's there? Ah. Ah, who? Ah, who? Werewolves of London. Welcome to For What It's Worth, the Halloween. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> the boogeyman is coming. The boogeyman is coming. He's going to get you. Ah, not bad. Eh? Ah. Your oh, hair yeah. was perfect. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks for tuning in for what it's worth. I am your host, Murray Valeriano. We got a couple of fun Halloween games coming up. But first, January 12th, 2025, Hollywood Improv, live for what it's worth. Guests to be determined, perhaps some of these, perhaps not. We'll find out. But if you're in the Patreon, you always get free tickets to my shows. So hit me up for free tickets. But in the meantime, celebrating Halloween, let's meet our contestants. Up in corner number one, we got the very hilarious Gary Brightwell. Gary, you doing any shows hey. lately? Am I do yeah, I just got back and I'm going back out in uh, a week. I'm going to be in Boston at the Wilbur Theater with Brian Regan. Nice. Two wow. shows. Yeah. And uh, and then up in in Maine uh, on the on the uh, Sunday. So Friday, oh, so Saturday, a Sunday. Seven that's a great show. Eight, nine, and ten. Excellent. Yeah, can you get tickets on your website or just Google Brian? Uh, Regan you can just Brian Google Brian Regan tour and, uh, awesome. and you should be able to get it there. Yeah. Excellent. I think it also maybe Live Nation too. I'm not sure. Okay. Awesome. Excellent show. I've seen it several times. Yeah. It's uh, fun. Christine Kimmel, how are you? Thanks for coming. Thank you for having me. I'm doing great. Tell us a little about how to survive with Chris, Danielle and Christine. I always want to say Christine first. I don't know why. I mean, it's natural to want to say my name first. Yeah, we're having fun at the podcast. We're in awesome. our going into three years now of doing a comedy survival podcast. So, you know, awesome. if you haven't listened, come check it out. Excellent. I had fun. I was on it a few weeks ago. I had a blast. Uh, I've done it twice. Thanks for having me. It's always fun. Yeah. Okay. And then comes in the third quarter. Oh, musician, comedian, writer, producer. Dad, owner of Barbie headphones, Blaine Capatch. Thanks for coming. Hey, hi. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Awesome. Where can we see you? Can we catch you anywhere and do anything live these days? Uh, you can catch my headphones in action on the uh, Nerd Poker podcast where I of play uh, Dungeons and Dragons with uh, my friend Brian Posehn and others. Awesome. And, uh, and I'll also be uh, hosting Lucha Vavoom, uh, Mexican wrestling and burlesque at the Mayan Theater uh, for Halloween if you're in Los Angeles. I was going to well, ask if you're going to, thanks for reminding me, I was going to ask you, that show is fantastic. Always fun. It's so yes. much fun. I haven't, man, I haven't been there in a couple of years. Maybe I'll, is it on Halloween itself? 30th and 31st at the Mayan. Maybe I'll come down on the 30th. Anyway, Trick we'll talk about that off. Trick or treat. It's so much fun. It's so much fun. Cool. But speaking of fun. I have come up with a game specifically for this holiday. It is called Witch's Brew. It's gonna get you. Yeah, I've taken pieces of five different songs, put them in my cauldron, mixed them around, and came up with one long song. I'm gonna play them for you guys, and I want you to name all five songs. The one with the most uh, answers, Wins the one with the least answers gets booed off the game. Booed. Ooh, that's a ghost thing, right? Ooh. Exactly. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's hear the witch's brew. I see a lot of confused faces. I see some happy faces. I see some I got it, some I don't got it. Gary Brightwell, we're going to start with you. What do you got? I'm feeling good about what I... <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> what I think I have. I don't know. I don't think I have all five, but... How many do you think you got? Two. And one... <laughs> and one uh, band name, but not the song name. <laughs> okay. Let's start. Did you get the first one? No. The second one? Thriller. I'm not going to say if you're right or wrong yet. I'm going to wait till the end. Okay. The third one? Um, no. I don't have it. Fourth one? Psycho Killer. Fifth one? 
I don't have. All right. Excellent. He's looking at a possible score of two. Chris, you need two to tie <laughs> if he's right or three to win if he's right. Chris Kimmel, how many Can do you Can I ask think a question? Have? Do you get punished yes. for a wrong answer? No, no, no. We don't we don't like to punish here. Okay. I'm ready to I'm Chris ready to Kimmel, how many do you think you have for you know that out would... of the five? Oh, I I I feel confident in three and one okay. guess. All right. Did you get number one? That's a guess. I'm gonna guess werewolves of London. Okay, number two. Thriller. Okay, number three. Devil inside. Okay, number four. Psycho killer. Number five. No guess. Okay, so we have a possible three or four in there, right? Yes. Yeah, very we have good. A possible good. three or four. All right, Blaine Capatch, you have to possibly beat three or four of these answer out of the five, sir. How many do you think you got? I think I got five. I'm or I'm I'm sorry. Oh. I, I'm a confident I have three, but okay. I did, I but did you not think get you have five. Oh, no, I no, like no, no. I, I I misspoke. Okay, I ha- so I I definitely have three. You definitely have three. You mm-hmm. might have five. No, I do not have five. I have. I oh, definitely have three. Oh, I right. do not. I do not know what the other two are. Okay. Carrie's one of them. One of them sounds so familiar. It's gonna. It's gonna haunt me. But oh. these are Halloween songs, so it works out. <laughs> Excellent. Blank <Lanka> batch. <laughs> Did you get song number one? Yes, The Crusher by The Cramps. Yes, which I believe Ooh. I've heard your band do. Yes, we've done The Crusher, but it's right. uh, uh, originally uh, done by uh, uh, the Novas. Before the Cramps, uh, and it was uh, I forget the name of the, uh, Vic. Mostly was the uh, the wrestler, and he started off going Rrr! to the Haberlock. So it was a uh, uh, sung by a wrestler originally, but covered by the oh, Cramps. I had no idea. That's awesome. Yes. I love it. You, number one. Number two. Number two is Thriller by uh, uh, Michael Jackson. Number three. Uh, I do not know. I don't remember which one that was. <laughs> number four. Uh, number four is Psycho Killer by Talking Heads, of course. And number five. Number five is a uh, question mark. That's the one that's that I, I I can recognize the guy's voice and it's just not clicking for me. Oh, this is a tight race. This is a tight race. Ooh. Oh, I'll tell you what, before we reveal the songs, let's figure out the possible points and let's see who won this thing. All right, the scores are in. The scores are in. Before we listen to them down, Gary Brightwell, you are in second place with two. Two. I knew Blaine in excess, Cr- but I wasn't sure what the uh, the song title was. Oh, there you go. Uh, Christine and Blaine tied for three. Tied for three, but we're going to let ground you guys, the king and queen of rock today. There is none higher. Congratulations. Let's listen to these songs and see which ones you guys got and didn't get. Here we go. Ray. Blaine got that one. Do the hammer Twice. lock. <laughs> Twice. The original and the cramps. I played the cramps version. I think everybody got that. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Oh, I'm sorry. That was obviously Thriller by Michael Jackson. Everybody got no. No. Gary no. got the band. The other two got the song. <laughs> Christine got Christine got that one. No, yes. Christine got that one. Oh, just yeah. Christine got that one? Yeah, oh, just Christine. Christine. Devil Inside, my favorite in excess song. We all got that, right? That's a Christmas carol, right? Uh, uh, Christmas carol, halls. yes. Yes, that was Bing Crosby. <laughs> <laughs> Psycho Killer by the Talking Heads. And the last one that stumped everybody. Yeah, they were the Israelites. Anyone? Oh, who is it? Tell me. <laughs> all you is that, zombies. Is that police? the Hooters. Oh, the Hooters. my God, the Hooters. The oh, Hooters, oh, all wow. you zombies. Why? They were from All Philadelphia. Yes, sir. And they uh, uh and the the main guy wrote uh Time After Time with uh Cindy Lauper. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. I didn't know that. Awesome. Excellent game. I hope you guys oh. had fun. It was uh yeah. kind of uh I wanted to do something a little special for Halloween. So, uh I hope you guys had a good time. That was great. It's, it beats yeah. the flaming bag of dog shit you left on my porch last Halloween. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you swing, sometimes you miss. <laughs> take take me to a flaming bag of dog shit and step on it. It's a classic. <laughs> I know it never goes out of style. (laughs) Listen, 
Gary Brightwell, Christine Kimmel, Blank Apache, thank you so much for playing. Thanks for lending your knowledge and your humor and your time. I really appreciate it. Special shout out to thank you for Scorekeeper Carrie up there in Canada. Yeah. Yeah. And thank you all for watching. Transylvania, good night. We love you. <laughs> <laughs>